I, uh, got into a bit of trouble when I went down to the store. A little human girl thought it would be funny to pull on my bandages. It was not quite as humorous for me, though. I couldn't possibly ask for some much-needed, uh, assistance from you. I bought some medical bandages from the store. I was hoping my last batch wouldn't need to be replaced so quickly, but I guess the human world isn't quite ready for the variation of monster girls yet. The mother didn't really stop her. I was a bit stunned and didn't really shout or tell her no. I didn't want to get into any trouble because then you would have been called down in case law enforcement got involved. The idea of that upsets me too much. Getting you in trouble just because of something I caused? Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We aren't doing that. So, I got home as quickly as possible. A man actually apologized as I hurried away, saying not everyone is like that. I think he went to speak to the mother afterwards to correct the behavior, but I'm just glad it's over. Nothing feels better than closing the front door behind you in a stressful situation. And you're back into the comfort of your own territory again. It shouldn't take too long to do it if you have the time to unwrap and rewrap me. I guess I can just see it as a freshening up. I'll sit down here. Can you please unwrap me? Don't worry about the skin underneath, it's supposed to look like that. I know it's different from what you're used to, but I'm grateful you're not recoiling in horror or anything. Finding someone so understanding the first time? I guess fate is smiling upon me. If you just take it from the start, from my midriff, then unwind it around. Yeah, just like that. I know it can be awkward. It's the first time I've ever had a helping hand with this. Mm. Yeah, the scars and stuff. I don't even remember how I got them. <laughs> Felt like they just appeared. The origins of us is a type of undead that inhabits desert regions, ruins, etc. We get reanimated when demonic energy accumulated in our human court. <laughs> Under Anubis, we used to protect the ruins, serving the role as soldiers to repel tomb raiders. I mean, we are all unique though, with our personalities and memories, they are completely intact. Only problem is, if we get starving, we can lose our cold and become a little dangerous. Uh, how come you wanted to look after a level 2 monster girl? Doesn't it not put you on edge when you realize I could become a little feral if I don't eat properly? I mean, you do have me pretty well fed. <laughs> I don't want to get too much of a belly. I like being a little skinny malinky.
I kind of assumed these ones would be stuck in my hair. You can use scissors, it's not a problem for me if you get some of my hair as well. I ain't gonna whine about it. <laughs> it's kind of soothing, actually. Or maybe I'm just being weird. I'll brush it out real quick, it's getting pretty long. Maybe next time I replace the bandages, I go to a hair salon and get it all washed and done properly. <laughs> I haven't experienced that before and it seems really fun and relaxing. Hmm. Not sure how well I'll be able to keep up talking though. I never was the best at chit chat. I'm sure they've had quiet customers before though. <sighs> it's always so tuggy at the start. <clears throat> Okay then, now that the old bandaging is off and hair is silky smooth for the most part, uh, we can put on the fresh new ones. Hmm. I wonder if they'll ever come out with cosmetic items for us monster girls. I'd love it if I could get some ink for my bandages. I would love to draw hieroglyphics on it or on the skin showing on my arm. That way you could know if anyone touched me without my permission, grr. I still get a few stares, but it really isn't that bad at all. I saw a griffin girl when I was out. 
her tail was so long and majestic and her feathers were super clean. She must have taken a lot of care into her appearance. I just don't have that much time to dedicate to it. Maybe one day I'll get the hang of it and I can do it quickly. Hmm. I could practice on you, maybe? Would you be willing? I'd draw ink on you and wipe it off until I got confident with it. Or maybe even practice bandage art. You wouldn't have to do a thing, just sit there and enjoy it for the most part. A little pampering night doesn't sound too bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, wrap it around like that. The shoulders are the worst part. I've yet to find a good way to do it that doesn't immediately result in them getting loose. I just have to be careful how I maneuver. Hmm, well... I guess over time, you'll be a pro, and then wrapping me up will be as quick as that. Why do I keep putting them back on? <laughs> I guess I feel naked without them, and well, if my skin is on display, I kind of look like I've been infected with the plague, do I not? <laughs> I suppose if I was in the apartment with you for a while, it really wouldn't matter, but since I go out, I'd rather be as comfortable as possible. 